Hello again everyone, I'm Mr. Safe and the rest of surprises are coming. Let's say hello to our old friend, the Fennec Fox. Our lesson today is about the senses. But I'm not talking about the ordinary senses, I'm talking about the super senses. But here we have the game at the beginning of the lesson, not at the end. Let's start playing. I created the spinning wheel for you. I'm gonna spin it. When it stopped at one of the senses, we're gonna study the super sense that found in one of the animals in our curriculum by choosing of the spinning wheel. Would you like to try? Let's spin it. Excellent. That's hearing, but I'm not talking about the ordinary sense of hearing. Give me an example of an animal has super sense of hearing. Try to think. Is it this one? The fennec fox? Yes, if your answer was the fennec fox or the caracal maybe, both are right answers. They have extra extra large ears for excellent hearing. They have super sense of hearing. Amazing. So we studied the sense. Let's eliminate it. Let's study another one. Mm -hmm. Amazing! Super sense of tasting. Do you have any recommendation? Would you like to recommend any animal? Let me show you. Here you are. The cats, panda, monkey, they have super sense of tasting. So we finished this part, let's try another one. Aha! Super sense of touch. We need an animal who has super sense of touch. This is one of the feelings that we have. But I'm talking about one of the animals has super sense of feeling. Not feeling, is it hot or cold exactly? And somehow I'm talking about animal can feel the presence of other prey by feeling their temperature. It feels their temperature. We can use our hand to touch to feel is it hot or cold? Our use. skin, our skin to feel is it hot or cold? But here I need you. If you are smart enough, recommend an animal has super sense of feeling the coldness or the hotness of its prey. Animal considered a predator. It doesn't see well. Let's see if it's right. If your answer was the snake, that means you catch it right. The snake has the ability to feel the presence of its prey not by seeing it. It doesn't see well. But it feels the presence of its prey by the presence of its heat. It feels the temperature of the blood that moves around its prey. So it has super sense of feeling according to the temperature of its prey. And this is so special. It's super sense. And it's found in the snakes and some other animals. But we study only in grade 4 the snakes. Here again, another try. <laughs> Aha! This is an easy one for you. Give me an example of an animal has super sense of smelling. It smells very well. It smells everything. We use it in guarding because it has super sense of smelling. If your answer was the dog, you catch a try it. It has super sense of smelling. So give reason. We use dogs in guarding because they have super sense of smelling maybe and the last one here the super sense of sight the animals that have super sense of sight they see everything and anything around let's see if your answer was the owl that means your answer is right the owl one of the animals that has super sense of sight it sees everything because it has wide and big eyes and has the ability to rotate its head in all directions to catch its prey. 
One of the animals that we mentioned before has the ability to see everything around is the panther chameleon because it moves both of the eyes in two different directions. Is it all? Did we finish all senses? Almost. We still have one, which is echolocation. What does it mean, echolocation? That's a super sense found in some animals, like the bat and dolphins. They use it because they are almost blind. I'm talking about bats. The bats cannot see well. So they produce sound, sound waves like this. This sound is traveling in the air, travels in the air until it crashes with a prey like this. Some of the sound waves return back in a form of echo to the bat. So the sound waves that are sent by the bat known as echolocation. But the sound waves that are reflected back to the bat known as echo. Echo only. That helps the bat to translate. If the amount of sound waves reflected back to the bat, that means the bat can translate them into some information. Let's take a look here. Is it big or small animal? No, it's a small animal. So the echo that reflect back, so small echo. The bat is so smart. It takes these echo, translate them. Small echo means a small animal. So it's a prey. I should go catch it to eat. But if the echo that reflected back was big echo, that means it's a large one, so I should hide. Bats are using echolocation in air, but we have another animal use it in water, which is dolphin. The dolphin is using echolocation to determine the location of their prey, the sizes, everything. But the, the dolphin can't see well, okay? It sees well and also uses echolocation but the bats cannot see and uses echolocation. Keep this in mind. Finally, we have our ninja. Would you like to say hello to our ninja? Let's do it together. This is our little ninja. We call this little kangaroo or the Egyptian jerboa. One of the really uh, important animals in our desert it has the ability to fight with the snakes with the presence of two super senses actually it has super sense of sight and super sense of hearing because it feels the presence of snakes before actually they move also it has the ability to jump maybe three meters apart from the snake it has also the ability to fight with the snake with their strong and long legs, comparing to their size. The tail at the end of the body helps the Egyptian jerboa to jump in a curved or zigzag lines. It's a strategy to run away if you have a snake. Take a look here. The Egyptian jerboa start moving even before the movement of the snake. How amazing is this animal? It doesn't move without fighting. <laughs> it fights. Take a look here. It knows how to fight with the snakes. Welcome our ninja. So the Egyptian jerboa, which is represented in front of you, one of the animals that has a strong sight and has large ears to hear the sound of the moving snakes around and jump. By the help of the long and strong legs and the long tail at the end that moves in a curved lines. We can classify the Egyptian jerboa in the division of some animals such as snakes, bats and owls. Why? Because there is something common between all of them. I'm not talking about echolocation. Echolocation found only in bats. Also, I'm not talking about using a certain part in the head to determine the location of the prey according to the presence of some heat or a temperature in their body. I'm talking about being active at night. All of these animals are active at night. Jerboa, snakes, bats, and owls they can be active or 
doing their activity at night. We call this group of animal nocturnal animals. So what does it mean this word? Nocturnal animal active at night can find its food, can perform its life, can enjoy at night <laughs> sometimes. So these are the nocturnal animals and that's the end of our lesson. You're gonna find the link of the game which is a surprise from me to you because you were amazing in this lesson below. Don't forget to make like, subscribe if you didn't make yet and also don't forget to leave a question in the comment below. Tell me which kind of animal do you like most and if you would like to recommend a game or a lesson and I can create a game for you, ask me for it in the comment. See you, bye.